Hello, everybody. Oh, hello. Today, we are going to be going over a bit of a <laughs> weird deck. I'm not going to lie. It's a weird deck. It has parts that you're very familiar with. And it has other parts that I think people have started talking about for a different deck. But this deck is an ADP deck that a friend of mine, Tony, created. And he got third with at, I believe, a Hegster event, either like late last week or something. Um, but he did really well with the deck. And I'm surprised... Nobody has mentioned this deck as far as I've seen, um, but it's really interesting and the strategy is interesting. That deck is ADP with like a couple of other attackers, basically Charizard and Brakeson. Um, and you have a couple of setup Pokemon and it's a greens deck in particular. So it's a greens, welder, ADP, Charizard deck. It's very strange, but uh, I think it, you know, I played a few games with it now. I made like two tweaks, which I'll tell you about in the video. Um, and I know Tony's gonna keep working on it, but shout out to Tony Vong for uh, sharing the deck list with me and congrats on him, uh, to him for doing well with it. It's, it's, you'll see, it's a very, on the surface, you're like, what is this? What am I looking at here? But first, but first, I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to Channel Fireball or Channel Pokemon. It's Channel Fireball is the company. Um, so if you didn't see from my last video or my Twitter, I am now like associated with Channel Fireball. Uh, they got into the Pokemon game. They're big in the magic scene, but uh, I'm shouting this out right now because if you go and sign up for Channel Fireball Pro or Pro Plus, um, it'll give you access to a bunch of great articles from awesome players. They have Azul, they have Sander, can't pronounce his last name. They have uh, just Isaiah Bradner, Emery Taylor, just so many awesome players um, writing articles, making videos, etc. I'm there making budget deck videos for them, uh, which you can find on their YouTube. Uh, but if you go and sign up, use the code Gyroshawn. That will support me, which is awesome. Um, it's an affiliate code. Uh, so I will get a kickback from that. Um, but if you do that and you sign up for the Pro Plus plan, which is $10 a month, you get $10 a month in store credit. And that, um, that store credit rolls over month to month. So if you don't use it one month, that's fine. So it's basically free. And going, this is going to happen in a couple of weeks from when this comes out. Um, they are doing a tournament, a Channel Fireball tournament, only for pro members. So if you go sign up, get that store credit, you will be able to compete in a tournament. Uh, it's single elimination. You play against like five of these awesome creators that they have on the roster. And uh, if you win, you win prizes. It's $1,000 worth in total prizes with some potential of the prizes doubling. Anyways. I've, I've said a lot of information, but definitely check it out. It's really cool. Links to all that in the description. Uh, thanks in advance if you choose to use my code and go sign up. But, you know, lots of people are talking about this. So if you go sign up, regardless whether or not you use my code, uh, that's awesome. So, yeah, now we can actually get into the deck profile and some gameplay. All right, so here is the deck profile. As you can tell at first glance, it is super strange. We have a number of different things. Let me talk about the fact that it's a greens deck. If you played other greens decks in the past, in particular, Guardian, uh, Gardevoir and Sylveon Tag Team GX, the number of Pokemon here is actually quite a lot, uh, but there's actually not that many. There's only eight Pokemon. We have two, two uh, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkias here, which uh, is not very many, but you only need one, really. We have only one Charizard and Brakeson, personally, if I were to, you know, really lean into this deck hard, I might find space for a second one of this. Uh, mostly because if it gets prized, that could be really bad for you. Uh, but one Charizard and Brakeson. We have one Heatmore, which like, I actually like this as a counter to Decidueye, to Altaria, etc. It's got 120 HP, so it's kind of hard to knock out for those guys. Um, and it has an attack that only needs three energy on the board total. So if you get something knocked out and you have nothing, you can still welder for two and attach and get a flamethrower off to do 120 or 150 after you have used Altered Creation GX. So I quite like this actually. And then the other main card in this deck from a Pokemon perspective is Victini. So I would argue that this deck probably wants to go second uh, because you want to be able to use Victini's victory sign to attach two basic energy of different types to your ADP on the bench. So you want to be able to attach a water and a metal onto the benched ADP, 
And then the following turn, you can attach one energy to your Charizard and Brakeson on the same turn that you GX. That way you were only a welder, an attachment, a welder for two, an attachment away from doing another attack. So this has a nice way of, you know, if you can get the right setup going, sort of um, proofing you, if you will, against the, um, the, the opponent doing some crazy play uh, where they knock something out and then you have no way of attacking the following turn because your other Pokemon require different energy types or four energy. So I think you'll see in the gameplay, hopefully we can get a few good games in with this. But um, so those are the Pokemon. Now, in terms of the other cards, there's a bunch of stuff in here, uh, but mostly you are a greens build. Play four greens explorations to set up and different points in the game. We also play four welders so that we can attach energy to our Charizard and breaks it. Now, what makes this deck work? Very simply, this deck basically is saying, I kind of don't care about whatever Pokemon you probably have in the active, your main attacker. Your main attacker from your opponent is probably going to be either a three prizer with a ton of HP that you can't knock out with anything in here, or just something you don't want to, basically something you don't want to knock out that you can't knock out with one of these two Pokemon hitting 180 or 210 respectively. Instead, what you're really looking to do is gust every turn that you attack and gusting up Crobats and Dedenes to just win with two attacks. And in doing so, hopefully put yourself in a position to win more often than not because you're faster than your opponent. And the way that you do that is between greens, setting yourself up in advance, and Charizard and Brakeson's brilliant flare attack, which lets you search your deck for three cards and put them in your hand. So, you know, on the right turn, you can... GX, the following turn, take three prizes potentially with this, grab whatever cards you need for the following turn to take the last three prizes, and then you just win. And unless your opponent has a way to knock this out in one hit, it's gonna be really tough for them. Um, and we even have ways to stop them knocking things out in one hit. We have a big charm, which adds 30 HP, so Eternatus has gotta work a little harder. Um, and one thing I put in here that wasn't in Tony's original list is Great Potion. Great Potion, you know, heals a little bit of chip damage that might get put on. That's also really important. There was a couple of games where I was like, this has too much damage, I'm just gonna lose if I put it forward. So, just some things to keep in mind. Outside of that, we do have a couple of research uh, for more draw. We have one Cynthia and Caitlyn, I suppose, to get back a Greens or a Welder or whatever for the following turn. We have one Lieutenant Surge, which is potentially really interesting if you can set this play up with a greens the turn before. And we have three boss's orders because you really wanna be able to find boss every turn that you need to. And a great catcher. So that's really your gusting. You've got three boss and one great catcher. So yeah, um, outside of that, it's a pretty standard greens list. You got four pokey gears, four quick balls, four switch. I have two stamps in here. Um, the original list that Tony sent had one Marnie and one stamp. I just sort of switched it to two stamps because I think you probably never want to Marnie. A um, couple of giant hearths and a fire crystal to find energy. We have two energy spinners to find energy as well and an energy retrieval because there's a lot of crushing hammers out there. So you might need to get back, you know, one of the water or metal energies. Um, outside of all that, our energy count here is eight fire. Seems like enough. Uh, and then two of each, water and metal. So it's a very strange deck. I think it's not that dissimilar from Bird Trio, to be honest, um, in that, you know, you could play Bird Trio ADP. You kind of do the same thing, right? Which is you GX early with the Victini, and then you Bird Trio uh, to take a couple of knockouts, and then you're good to go. The main difference here is you're using Brilliant Flare to help you search out whatever pieces you might need for the following turn. But yeah, um, Let's just get into some gameplay now, shall we? All right, giving this another go. Hopefully we don't prize half of our attackers this game, like we did the last game, which would have been a really interesting game, but our opponent just had literally everything every turn. And we had our Charizard and breaks in and second ADP prized, along with almost half of our energy. Somehow that happened. Okay. Hopefully we don't mulligan a hundred million times. Only one mulligan, okay. Um, now we are not, unfortunate, we do have the switch in hand. So that's actually not, that's not bad, that's not bad. 
You have switch in hand, so we can go with greens, grab, quick ball, um, hmm, quick ball what? Luke Metal. So Luke Metal should actually be fine. Um, yeah, probably got quick ball, quick ball. Oh, we have quick ball, nice, okay. Um, so let's just tag call here, actually. Oh my, so many prized. Um, okay, that's fine. So we can quick ball away this tag call, grab ourselves Victini. Hmm, okay. Throw Victini down. Now the question is, do I even bother using this greens? And my gut says no. But if I don't use greens, if I save this, hmm, just in case, I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna victory sign here. Yep, put that onto ADP. And look, if they manage to, yeah, I don't know, do something here. I could have greens there. I just didn't want to give it away that I had that in hand, right? Because I didn't want to get Marnied. So let's see if there's a Marnie that goes in the bin. There is not. They got rid of a Bronzong, which is interesting. So choosing to just do 50 here, very odd. Very odd indeed. Um, just baiting out the ADP probably. Um, hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, I've got. I can get energy retrieval. Do I just take another turn? <laughs> Set things up? I mean, no, no. I think I think at this point we can treat. Um, go ahead and greens here. Hmm. Let's go welder and giant hearth, perhaps? No. I think I'll get greens and switch. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. Because then if they, they do that, then I can go grab something off of that. Okay. This isn't too bad. I could greens the next turn for uh, Giant Hearth to get more fire energy. Um, so I'm going to research again. So my hand is safe yet again. So they're definitely going to full metal wall here. One hunt. Oh, and the swell. Gross. We do have energy spinner though. We do have energy spinner. So what we can do here is switch into that. Greens. Um, get spinner. And um, what do we got to work with here? One of each, huh? Man, kind of want to grab. Spinner welder, or maybe I'll just do energy retrieval. No, energy retrieval welder is probably better, right? No, man, I'll get spinner and greens get spinner greens here victory sign these both on to this right there Metal goggles, that's fine. If we hit into either of these things with this uh, Charizard and Brakes, and then it's GG's anyways. Because uh, 
We just got to find ourselves. We can surge greens welder. Okay, so if we surge greens, we can get ourselves welder. The chaotic swell is super annoying right now. Okay, so we have two fires in there. Perfect. Surge greens welder something. Okay. So we're going to play Surge, Greens, we're going to get ourselves Welder, and so we can get two more energy out of that. Um, hmm, what, what makes sense here? What makes sense? Have Boss in hand. Let's go get great catcher. Not that we're going to use it, but uh, then we can energy retrieval. Grab these two. Welder. Those back. Okay. I mean, we might as well throw that on there, right? I mean, it's not like they're doing anything different to any of ours, so. Um, we are down. Ooh, that, that would be bad if we lost that. Maybe we should have gotten a switch, but we can get that now. We can go get a switch right now. Would you like to search your deck? Yes. Okay, and they're just going to scoop. All right. So you can sort of see, like, you can get yourself out of some crazy situations. Lucky, we, I will say, we did get some somewhat lucky uh, draws there, but... That's pretty crazy. It's a crazy deck. Getting the energy retrieval and having the fact that there's two fire in the discard was crucial for that one. Um, because that, that chaotic swell was mad annoying. All right. The fact that they also got rid of Bronzong. I mean, I don't know. I, I They could have played Bronzong and then they would have forced me into ADP, which is super awkward for this deck. So that maybe was a mistake on their part. But let's go another game here let's see how this one goes would you like to go first no we get to choose this time huzzah we start with the uh victini we got a greens we got a quick ball or gucci or gucci here okay so playing against eternatus huh interesting okay so depending on what they have Unless this is maybe Spirit Tomb. It could be Spirit Tomb. Let's see. What do they get with this quick ball? Getting rid of a boss. I like that. I like I like them losing a boss. So we definitely want a green tier for a... Um, hmm. I kind of want a greens for Big Charm. I don't know if they play Zigzagoon. So... I think we're definitely greensing for Big Charm at least let's see here what's what's in the deck what's in the deck big charm is in the deck great potion is in the deck okay those are the things we want to see we have tag calls we have all the pokemon we need we have the two energies that we need in there as well cool so i am gonna go get um tag call and say big charm knowing that we have greens the following turn yeah so we'll do this it's kind of strange but uh, you know i don't know if they're playing poison or um yeah i don't know exactly what they're playing so we are gonna put down adp and you know what if they've got everything that they need Go throw this down, throw that on it. Um, put this one energy there. And I'm just gonna victory sign. Next turn we have a switching out. We have an attachment onto Charizard and Brakeson. And we're good to go. Okay, 
that was a very good first turn. Did everything you want to do. Um, and again, I don't know if they were going to Marnie me, but I needed to get everything out. So it just depends. Okay, so they did Marnie me. So I'm glad that I put everything down that I needed. Um, so we do have GX on board right now, which is not an issue. We just got to see what we draw into here. Okay, we have a research and a pokey gear. So it's not bad. Okay, so they got a capture energy. They've Marnied, so they're not bosses ordering this turn. We have another eternity. So are they gonna power excel here, maybe? No, no. Okay. Now they're probably debating whether or not they want to put Crobats down, considering my board state, but I mean all this ADP has to do is survive. This ADP survives. Okay, so there's a Crobat. So that's one of our prizes right there that we're going to go after. It can't boss. So they're going to Zigzagoon ping that. So I think we poke a gear and look for... See, that's frustrating. I, it's almost like I wish I had two... Um, two big charms in here, but... They're still down quite a few Pokemon. So I think we, we see, we see what we can get here. I'm gonna lead this no matter what. Um, all right, I am just gonna Poke Gear first. If we can find Great Potion, then that forces them. Nope, okay. Hmm. Man, this is tempting. I'm tempted to just attach one. You know what? I'm not going to find anything. We're going to get rid of this anyways. Let's put that there. Let's attach that. I don't think this heat more is that useful. So then we're just going to research this. Um, okay. Hmm. So if this somehow survives, then, then great. But otherwise, I think we can get rid of this welder just to pull something out of the deck. Thin it out by one card even. Um, don't want to get Marnied, but yeah. I, mm, tough. You know what? We're going to spin her. Just get one more um, fire energy out for the next turn's welder. Just in the hopes that, uh, well, we'll throw this down just in case I get Marnied and I have nothing. Um, okay. So our opponent has a clear path to three more prizes right here, and we do not have a greens in hand, which is not ideal. Don't have the Lieutenant Surge. So we don't even have... Don't even have a uh, boss in hand, unfortunately. We are in a really bad spot right now. Very bad. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is a turn where we have to, I think, send up Victini. Let them go down to two and then go down to one prize. That's it. If they can knock out this ADP. If they can't knock out ADP, then, you know, our game plan changes. I need two more Pokemon. I'm assuming they find it off this research. I'm just assuming that they find it here. Be very surprised if they don't. Now, they've managed to not put down any any but one Crobat here. So they're going to start softening up this uh, Charizard and Breaks in probably? No. Okay. Interesting. Putting it on the active. Assuming they're going to put it on the active again. Which I'm fine with. More than happy with that. Puts me at 250. Um, so one more. Put me at 240. So if they can get one more ping. Okay, so they're going to Crobat again here. Man, if we top deck Surge, that would be amazing. But I don't think it's going to happen. I just, I just don't think that's happening here. Hmm. Okay, so they found the last ping. 240. It didn't matter anyways. I don't know why they're not building up anything on this Charizard and Breaksin. Seems a bit 
I don't know, off. But we got the GX off. I think we're going to send Victini up here because um, this, this Charizard ain't going to do nothing for us. So, hmm. I mean, we got Giant Hearth, but again, that doesn't really help us. But what we can do is get rid of research. Let's pull, let's pull two out of here just to thin the deck out even more so we can find boss. Um, gonna welder two. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I think this is when you uh, just commit. You're going all in here. Um, I don't think any GXs are going to come out, so we can safely take this out. I think it's our energy down. Oh, we could have we could have powered up that with Victini. That's sad. That was a bad attachment on my part. Um, okay, unfortunate. I'm just going to click done. There's no use using the Poke Gear. We will draw one more card, and then fingers crossed, um, it'll be what we need. If they have boss here, they win. Just as simple as that, right? They have boss, they win. Um, because they're gonna hit into us. There's nothing we can do. Turbo patching onto this other Eternatus, it looks like. Okay. That one they they had one turn of Marnie, which I think was the difference of the whole game for them. Was that one Marnie? Another Marnie. Actually, that's a good thing for us. At first glance, at least, right? We haven't seen a boss all game. Um so maybe this is uh, the four cards that, nope. How, how is this so bad? There's three bosses in this deck and, oh my gosh. This is wildly unlucky. This is abhorrently unlucky. Well, I mean, we did what we needed. That's GG's, I'm pretty sure. We got these two, fine. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do here. Um, they only need one prize anyway, so we might as well go there. Energy retrieval. Grab those two. Do that. that yeah more energies for us draw some more cards mm. get greens out I suppose oh boy Hmm. I'm not quite sure what to do here. We'll Poke Gear first. Surge, I guess. Man, where are the boss's orders? I haven't checked. Maybe they're all prized? That, that would be nuts. Um, let's stamp them down to one. Um... Brilliant Flare. Would you like to search your deck? Yes, please. Boss. We need, what do we need? Another stamp, maybe. A switch. That sounds fine. Yeah. So they'll hit into us. Ugh. Not really sure if we can come back from this. Um, interesting. Actually, if we boss up another Eternatus. So... We go tap, 
attach. Um, we boss up that Eternatus VMAX and hit into it. So we're going to surge the greens, get that. Then we are going to get another boss, I believe. So that way we have all the things we might need in hand. And then we are going to great potion. Boss that Eternatus VMAX up. Uh, stamp him down to one again. And then Brilliant Flare. And then let's see. Let's see what we can do with this. Yeah, let's search our deck. Um, let's Energy Spinner switch greens. That seems fine. Okay. So if they don't have a switch, then we can switch, knock this out with ADP. And if they don't have a way to ping, okay. I'm not entirely sure. Oh my God. How? How? What the hell? The luckiest in play. Um, hmm. Yep, that's it. That's a well played. Unfortunately, they just had the perfect hand in the universe. Ugh. Uh, this is Future Me. Uh, just about to edit that video, and I realized that if I knock out a, a Pokemon, he can only do 240 damage, which means if he doesn't top deck a way to find a Pokemon, I can still win. Ugh, I'm bad, I'm bad at this game, clearly. Anyways, that's it. That's so dumb, that is dumb. I'm sorry, but like, come on. All right, well, there you have it. Two games with this pretty crazy deck. I think you saw one game where like you got all the pieces you needed and it, it's clearly a very strong deck. And then you saw another game where, I mean, let's be frank, it was a struggle, right? Like the, the opponent had all the pieces they needed whenever they needed it, including when I thought I'd found one way to win at the very end of the freaking game. But no, my opponent has to top deck a scoop up net anyways that's gonna do it for me thank you all so much for watching thanks again to tony for this awesome list uh hopefully you all enjoyed it uh, if you did subscribe to the channel all that good stuff and i will catch you in a future video carpe awesome